what's up? Brian here with the Holy Roller, and I'm here at the craps table, and I'm getting ready to roll a session, and I'm going to document my journey on the Harmony of the Seas seven night cruise. We're going to start tonight with a $300 buy in, and we're going to see how many points we can get towards the next cruise. It's going to be very good, so watch this. Here we go. Welcome to the Holy Roller, where it's all about playing craps and winning free cruises. I'm going to show you what it's all about, so let's get rolling. Hey, what's up, everybody? Wanted to give you an update on the first session. So I said I was going to buy him for 300 and I did. And then got down to about 50 bucks, bought in with another 200 So 500 altogether. I'm walking the track right now, winding down for the night. The total of the cruise, I always say don't bring more than what the cruise costs because even if you lose it all, you can't lose if you win a free cruise. And so what I did was um, I got the 500 I actually walked away with 50 bucks. So I'm down $450 tonight. And I checked to see how many points I got. And I only had 250 points. 250 points, something went awry. And so I wanted to tell you about this. Not only something went awry because I'm down $450, but something went awry because uh, they didn't log my average bet. And so this can happen sometimes where um, if you don't check with the pit boss to make sure that they're uh, logging your average bet, um, then a lot of times they'll just do the minimum of the table. And so that's what I think happened. I should have had a lot more points. Usually uh, with about $500 playing for five hours, so anyway, I went back and forth. It was probably five to six hour session. I mean, I was there. It was fun, man. I was playing a lot, but just losing little. It's just bleeding little by little. And I was trying to earn it back, earn it back. And I finally uh, just said, okay, I'm leaving with 50 bucks for the night. Because technically seven night cruise is a $4,000 cruise. So 3,500 um, would still be $500 less than what the cruise cost. So as long as I get a free cruise out of this, then then uh, it should be good. It should be a good, um, you know, if, if <laughs> hopefully I don't lose 3,500, but I lost 450 of 3,500 already. One thing I think that really happened was they weren't tracking my points correctly because usually if I play that long, and I never really say it on the channel here because I don't want people to like expect it um, to earn this much, but usually I'll play for the amount of time I did, which is about five to six hours. I, I, it was somewhere right around there. Um, with my average bet, I'll get like 100 points an hour. So I should have at least five to 600 points. I only have 250 points. Something's wrong. So I need to talk to them tomorrow and see if they can adjust it. Now, the chances are they won't. But what I need to do and what you need to do if you ever do this is you need to just be on them and say, hey, what's my average bet? Or, hey, did you log my bet? So what I understand that they do is every half hour, they um, they actually reset the bet. Like, so they watch you, uh, how much you're betting, and then uh, then they'll come up and they'll reset it. If, if they reset the bet and they're resetting the bet, when, like, say I went away, say, say like I went to the restroom, so, Either they checked me out or they saw that I was there and I wasn't betting anything. So they put my bet to zero because I was there kind of like just not betting because I went to the restroom. So then I come back and I'm playing, but they didn't log me in until a half hour later. I'm almost positive what happened is I went half hour or more two different times with them having a zero average bet for me. Uh, and that is what really screwed me with 250 points. I usually get, like I said, at least 100 points an hour. And so usually in two nights, I can win a, uh, a free cruise. But hey, let me tell you this really quick. I'm gonna stop because I want you to hear this, okay? Let me tell you this. Um, they changed, starting March 1st, 2023, they changed the 800 points for a free cruise. It is only, uh, 800 points for a free cruise on a four night or shorter, like a three or four night cruise. 
if you're on, uh, and I believe it's five or more, but especially a seven night cruise, you have to get 1200 points for a free cruise, not 800. So that is a huge, big change. I saw it and I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm at the back of the ship now. It's dark outside, so <laughs> can't really see anything. But, but this, during the day, is a phenomenal view. Um, and it's just like the, the aft or the back and you can just see where you're going. Let me see if it looks, if, it, if, it, uh, if you can see anything. Is that dark? Is that, can you see that? Just so you know, they have cameras out here, so don't be trying any funny business out here in the back. Was that a camera or a speaker? I don't know, maybe it was a speaker. But they did, oh, they have cameras. Whoa, red light, I'm on camera. Man, something happened with my points. You, you spend all that time, you're hoping to get, uh, you know, points. And so you just have to be on them. You just have to be on them and just say, and you might feel like a jerk sometimes because you're like, excuse me, uh, did you log my bet in? Excuse me, did you log my bet in? Every time you bet, you just need to make sure that they're logging it in. And, uh, and, and sometimes the pit bosses are not there. They're running a whole different area. And then sometimes they'll come and sit down. And when they come and sit down, what they're doing is they're logging in your bets that you're doing. So I would say whenever you, whenever it's time uh, that they come and sit down, that's the time where you wanna make sure that they're logging your bet. Hey, when you were gone, I was betting this, and look, I'm betting it now. Can you log it in, please? It might sound like a jerk, but man, you gotta do it. Because if you don't do it, you're gonna walk away from a whole session with only 250 points. 250 points is not bad. I mean, 200 times seven, that's 1,400. If I, if I do, if I average 200 a night, I'll probably get a free cruise, so that'll be fine. But I can't afford, well, I don't want to, to lose $450 every night on my way to a free cruise because then I'm just prepaying for the cruise. Oh my goodness. I'm on the Harmony of the Sea. Uh, Harmony of the Seas, and I think I walked all the way around. And so you can see this track here is uh, how many laps? So 2.4 laps is a mile. Oh, there's the thumbnail for Oh Man Lessons Learned. All right, so I talked with the casino host, and one, one thing that they said is to make sure, like I said, talk to the the pit boss about the average bet and making sure that they count your bet. And so anyway, this, this session, I'm going to have to figure that out. So I'll let you know how it goes. All right, let's head. Let's head in. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? Fancy night here. And uh, we had another uh, good time at the table. Not, not a very, very like exciting. I don't think there's anybody that has, everybody's talking about how much they lost. I think the last recap was uh, $450 down. I wanted to say a lesson learned is Whenever you have your days, okay, your days or your nights versus sessions when you break up your bankroll. So uh, I was talking about uh, 3,500. On a C day, the table opens during the day sometimes. If the table's open during the day, you have a session. <laughs> so if you're, if you're planning on $500 a session and you're gonna have two sessions that day, then that's a thousand dollars instead of 500. So anyway, long story short, the itineraries change sometimes. And so we were supposed to be in Costa Maya, but because of the waves and the, the weather, the ship can't dock. The captain got on and said, we're turning this into a sea day. And so the casino will be open. <laughs> I mean, I planned to be at the port. I think everybody did. Um, and now the tables are gonna be open. So you can skip that session if you don't have the, the funds for it um, in your budget. At least on a C day, you know there's probably gonna be two sessions. 
So being that we can't pour it, you're gonna have to uh, take an account uh, that extra day. And so with that extra day, it's like, or extra session, it's like, oh man, uh, am I gonna split my bankroll or am I going to uh, just miss out on a session? So probably miss out on a session um, and, uh, and just, you know, not be in the casino playing. And there's plenty of other stuff to do uh, on the ship. So uh, there's more than enough activities. Like I think that some people, they don't take the discipline to actually do their sessions at the table to get their points and they don't follow along with their points. And so if that's the case, then um, I think that's one way to be disciplined is make sure that you actually go to the casino and get your points. Um, because I've, I've brought people on cruises to gain points and they um, were busy with other things, all the different things that are going on on the ship. So wanted to just uh, uh, encourage you about that little tip um, to make sure to, uh, to break up your bankroll according to sessions, not just evenings or nights, okay? So I took the price of the cruise divided by seven um, when there's more than seven sessions. Some people might be thinking, Brian, you lost $450 yesterday. What were you playing? What strategy were you playing? And I was playing uh, uh, different, I was trying to follow the table. And if you ever do that, what happens is you're you're trying to follow the table for um, when it's when it's going really good. You try to play play the light side. When it's when it's choppy, you try to play the dark side. And usually, if you're trying to get it, and you just go, uh, you know, when you go to the light side, it should have been dark, and when you go to the dark side, it should have been light. You know, it's like you can't follow it. So, I think I think a lesson learned for me is just to stick with the strategy. Um, instead of trying to follow the table. I mean, that's that's the only thing I could say is the reason why I lost uh, the money. And so how do we do tonight? Okay, tonight um, we are, we had $500 for tonight plus the $50 uh, from yesterday. And uh, we, we are down uh, again. So we lost the 50 from yesterday. So that's $500 down. Um, all together um, and then we are 400 down again so 900 down out of a thousand we are down and so uh, like I said everybody everybody at the whole anybody and everybody in the casino at craps is saying that they are down and so um, that's a lot to make up and so that's why it's important not to bring more then you're willing to lose, but also don't bring more than what the cruise costs because you can't lose if you win a free cruise. Man, you don't want to. You don't really want to lose all your money trying to win a free cruise because uh, that's just prepaying for the cruise. I know I said that before, but I'll keep I'll keep shouting that from the from the from the deck here. From the, that's another update, and I'll keep you updated. I, I hope to turn this around. We're gonna see how it goes. I hope to turn this around. All right, well, it is day three or night three, session four, because we had that day session where we had two sessions in a day. And I'm really hoping for a good night tonight. I am had dinner here. You can see the dinner area. And then uh, we got a, a right next to the window. Very nice. So Amber, I'm hoping we get a good session tonight. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see how it goes. I haven't checked my points yet from the, the second night or the second day. So I'll let you know what those are in the update. All right, so I got, um, we're in the casino here. I got my points and my points were 1,000 points. I got 1,000 points, so that's good. Uh, the fact that I'm down is not good, but um, I wanted to see how much I got per session, meaning uh, I wanted to play a session and then see how much I got per session and then with that, I was going to ask, uh, you know, like if I did an hour for this many average bet, I want to see how much it was. But that was yesterday. So each day that you do a session, you can only you can only find out how much points or how many points you earned on the session that you did 
if you find out that day, like at the late at night, if you wait till the next day, then they're only gonna be able to give you the total. So they gave me the total of a thousand points that I have, so I'm 200 points away. Um, this is night three, session four, because I did two sessions yesterday. So with that, um, I'm, I'm thinking we'll have a free cruise, but again, I'm down about $1,000, $900. So I think uh, we need to do a strategy that, um, that makes us our, our money back. It's just a slow grind, but get our money back. And so I'll, I'm gonna try that tonight, just to see if I can get the 200 extra points for the free cruise and so that I can get my money back little by little over the next couple days. All right, I'll let you know how it goes. All right, session four complete. And we got to 1200 points, which is a free cruise. Uh, however, we are down again tonight for the fourth session in a row. And so I need to go check the bankroll um, of what we're down um, based on our $500, $500. And I think it was like 100 hundred dollars and then this one we went to zero so uh 1500 we're down fourteen hundred dollars uh fourteen hundred dollars down and we got a free cruise so for pretty much what's that half price i guess i don't know we paid if if we don't come back with the rest of our bankroll or if we lose more um we would we would uh this would be where you have to make a decision do you want to just be fine with the cruise that you got or do you want to continue to try to win back with a chance of losing more of your bankroll so i have the papers here i'm going to show you the difference between um the difference between the 1200 and the 1500 okay because because we're at 1200 so we can see which ones we can pick uh we're a little bit over we're actually at 1300 so two 200 more points or one more session and we can get to 1500 but but you can have the the casino host actually print out um the dates to see if it's worth kind of going for the next level so let me show you that right now for the 1200 and so you can see so this is uh we're in march so there's march april may june july and then it skips august and then it goes to september skips october goes to november december and then on the back nope nothing on the back so you can see um let's see interior ocean view some six nights it looks like the six night oh there's a six night ocean view so you can kind of see some of them are four nights three nights and so the sooner that you pick look ocean view and longer nights there's a seven night uh, Alaskan one on the interior um, so then you have the the 1500 and you can see there's just a lot more dates to choose from and even on the back there are some to choose from and these ones come with a hundred dollars worth of free play and you can see there's interiors and ocean views all the way all the way down hey well hey last night man you could tell i was really tired trying to do the math yeah fourteen hundred dollars down i forgot to talk about the all that but anyway i'm doing the walk on the track for this uh night we had one session um tonight and uh we were at the port today so when you're ever whenever you're at the port the casino is closed um it's in most places like roatan honduras uh, they actually could leave the, the casino open, but not all the tables were open and craps tables weren't open. So I just had one session at night um, for today. And I'm in the Caribbean uh, Caribbean wear. I don't know if you could tell that, but it was a Caribbean night. So wearing a Caribbean shirt. But hey, so um, tonight we, we, man, it was, it was uh, you know, choppy, choppy seas, choppy tables. It wasn't really choppy seas. Just the table was choppy, that's for sure. But... I uh, wanted to tell you we we lost we lost another hundred so at least we didn't lose more so we're fifteen hundred dollars down total and um, I believe with the session we did we were able to get to that fifteen hundred point where we have uh, more dates to choose from and so that's where we're at and uh, and so really just uh, trying to find a strategy that I mean you know any strategy will work if you have long rolls. You know, like 
Uh, um, and so that's kind of where we're at right now where we just got like, man, we just got like choppy tables, not, not too many long rolls. Uh, I got down uh, quite a bit and then we had a couple long rolls consecutive that really brought me back um, from where from where I was. So I would have, have lost a lot more. So just to lose 100 tonight based on all of the um, all of the choppiness of the of the table, um, it, I think that's pretty good. So anyway, with all that being said, want to give you an update. So um, I'll check it tomorrow just to make sure uh, to see where we're at. But man, talk about lessons learned. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little recap at the end here. Basically, hey, here's one, two, three, four lessons I learned uh, based on this uh, this cruise. Um, yeah, lessons learned. Wow. All right, lessons learned indeed. And uh, this is night five. Tomorrow is uh, day six or night six, and it's a sea day. So there's gonna be two sessions tomorrow. So I did a little short session today with just like a hundred bucks. Lost a hundred bucks, man. So what was that? Sixteen hundred? Um, Fifteen, sixteen hundred is where we're at down. But we did get. 1,492 points, meaning that we're eight points away from the next level cruise. I mean, I could go put in five or six bucks, or 10 bucks into a slot machine and get eight points if I needed it. But, but uh, so definitely gonna get there. I'm, I'm excited about that. So that's great, um, but really need to use the rest of the bankroll, the budgeted bankroll to get back uh, and it really, I think it's gonna be, we need a miracle <laughs> for it to happen. I mean, I've seen it happen. I, I have uh, used some, uh, you know, a small bankroll and walked away with a huge bankroll, uh, but I haven't, I haven't got this, like this low before. And you know, um, when I first night, I wasn't planning on doing, I was gonna document this, this, uh, this, this trip but I wasn't gonna call it lessons learned. I was just gonna document the trip just like I would document any other trip. But uh, I said lessons learned after the first night and man, let me tell you, it has been lesson after lesson after lesson. So it's like, man, this is, this is crazy. So anyway, got the, got the cruise offer, that's great. But man, having to pay, you know, three four thousand dollar cruise having to pay fifteen hundred for it um yeah that's a great price but i don't want i don't want to pay for the cruise like in that way I, you know having a discount or prepaying partly prepaying you know i wanted to just i wanted to just make it and uh so that's what i was hoping for but uh we'll see how the next two sessions go there's actually three more sessions that we can play um, and so at this point, uh, do I want to play it or do I want to just have Amber play it because she can get points as well. And uh, so, cause I don't know if I'll get another 500 points. Well, I probably could, but I don't know if I want to. I don't know if it's worth it. That would be another lesson learned. Oh my goodness. I know this is a long video, but we're almost done because there's only, like I said, three more sessions when two more days to go. So I'll let you know how it goes, but I just wanted to fill you in on the journey of lessons learned. All right, hey, I forgot to do a video yesterday. So we're on day seven, last night, last session. Uh, there wasn't two sessions in the day on day six, even though it was a C day, um, they didn't open up the craps table until late at night. So I thought that was very interesting. So some days, on sea days, they open up the crab table in the middle of the day. Uh, sometimes they don't, and so they didn't this time. And so with all that being said, I'm on the last track walk, um, and, and, and I got a free cruise. Amber got a free cruise, which is great, but it cost us. We, we prepaid for this cruise. And so I'm gonna show you before we end, I'm gonna show you what to do once you get that free uh, certificate and that's kind of how we'll end the video but one thing that I said that I would do is kind of recap lessons learned because um, the man it, it, like I said lessons have been just going downhill when I decided to do this video because not only did we lose uh, our entire bankroll 
for for the uh, for the cruise, and so uh, we pretty much prepaid for the for the cruise. Um, so that is this is the walk of shame pretty much on the track tonight. But um, but uh, one thing that I that, that happened so uh, that that is a really lesson learned is I had a credit card on file. Um, and I usually do the credit cards on file so that um, when the credit cards are on file, I use the uh, card that I have airline miles with. And so I make sure to use my bankroll through the credit card so that I get points for the airline miles so I get free uh, trips, free, sorry, this is a little bit loud, just a second. So I get free airline miles uh, or free flights to get back and forth to the port so it's great and that's why I like doing uh, the credit card. However, I didn't bring any other credit cards with me and the credit card that I had on file um, had some fraud detection in it and I didn't use it in the other country or anything. So this has something to do with, you know, back at home or something, but the fraud detection and so they locked my credit card. And so um, being that they locked my credit card, uh, it didn't charge the bill when I'm on the ship. So talk about lessons learned. So now um, I don't have any way to actually pay for the trip that I'm on right now on the ship. And so what happens is when that happens, you have to sign a paper and uh, they get a copy of your driver's license and they have to, you have to sign a paper, a promise to pay paper in order for them to let you off the ship tomorrow. It's like the perfect storm in the way that uh, that, um, that nothing worked out on this trip. I mean, I mean, if I didn't win a free cruise uh, uh, certificate, that would probably have been the worst case scenario because we would have lost all the money, no cruise, and can't even pay for this thing. So, man, I know this is kind of like a like a downer video. I've never done one like this. I've always been like really positive. But this is, this is probably the, the worst trip I've had um, when it comes to, and the, and the thing is, I'm on the harmony of the sea, right? There ain't no harmony, there ain't no harmony of the seas around here, that's for sure. At least, uh, this is the second time I've been on the harmony. Uh, first time was great. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, this, this ship is great, the team is great. Uh, it's a great cruise. I'm just talking about um, with the system, with the finances, with everything working the way it's supposed to work, did not work. And I didn't want to not do this video once I started it because I thought, man, this could happen to somebody. Somebody could have a horrible, horrible trip. So why not document it? And I, man, it's been it's been crazy. So I hope I, I hope to turn it around. There, there ain't no turning around the bankroll. I'm just saying on the next cruise, I hope to turn it around and have a couple good runs like I have been. But I guess every once in a while you are going to have a bad run. And uh, this was it. This cruise was it. It was really bad. But hey, before we finish here, okay, let's I want to show you what to do with the certificate and how you can make sure to get your uh, your certificate all locked in and so that you make sure to have that free cruise. Um, I know, like I said, I know this video has been a little bit long, but let's go ahead and watch how we can get to the place where you can go to the next cruise and then get your, um, your next cruise. All right, I decided to jump in and just sit down inside real quick just to go over the lessons learned before we finish the video with how to and what to do with your certificate and how to take care of that. But I wrote them down on a paper here and I'm just gonna tell you. So no no, no specific order, but I have seven things that I've learned um, and or that would be lessons learned for you and for me. Um, I, I think probably number one thing, um, and I say this, not because we did it, but because other people, I've seen other people do it. And so this is always a lesson learned um, on any trip that you go on. Make sure that your bankroll is not larger than what the cruise cost uh, or larger than the cruise you're going for in your points. Um, and then make sure it's properly allocated. So I would say bankroll 
allocation is number one thing when it comes to lessons learned. Making sure to break up your bankroll per session, not necessarily per day. Number two, this is a huge one because I'm experiencing this. Make sure to have alternate forms of uh, payment instead of just one because if something happens to that card or you lose that card, like they actually need a physical card on file. They can't just, you can't just give them a card number. They need to actually swipe the cards. That's a big lesson learned. Have alternate forms of payment. And they always, they always will receive cash. Um, but I always like to try to get those credit card rewards. Number three, always ask and often ask the pit boss or the people at the table. When you're betting on the table, often ask, what is your average bet? Did you log my average bet? Please log my average bet. Uh, what is my average bet? You gotta ask them. Like I said, you sound like a broken record and you may sound like a jerk, but if you don't ask what your average bet is and they don't have it logged correctly, you're not gonna get enough points. Number four, check your points daily, but also check them on the same day. Uh, because remember, if you want to track a session, meaning that you want to take your bankroll, you want to play for a certain amount of hours, and then you want to have an average bet that you know what the average bet is, and then you want to be able to say, okay, for that session, I got, you know, quote unquote, 500 points or whatever. All right, number five, don't play with money uh, that you're not willing to lose. And so... So I think this is a key lesson learned because, um, you know, would I, would I eat, would I be going on a cruise every single month? Uh, if I, you know, if I didn't get a free cruise, like I can't afford, and I know, I don't know anybody that could, I mean, there I know there's people that can, but I don't know of anybody and I can't afford to be on a cruise every single month. So if I'm risking a bankroll to pay for a cruise every single month, I just don't have that bankroll. And so I think a lesson learned for me is getting to the place where um, I have, you know, I'm trying to monetize the channel, get people to sponsor and, and be able to have money coming in for a bankroll because, and, and I would allocate it just for bankroll, which would be great because then I can continue to do content like this, but I just don't have like unlimited funds to just be uh, putting at risk to, to try to continue the, the channel and stuff. So, I mean, that's basics, but, but it's, it's tough because I want to continue to do the channel. I want to continue to, to have a bankroll and, and to produce content. But if I don't, if I'm not, if I lose money like this every time or have to prepay for a cruise, there's no way I'll be able to continue. So that's something to think about. <laughs> Number six, this one's kind of a funny one. Stick to your strategy or don't stick to your strategy. Oh, the tables, you know, there's been a lot of sevens, so I'm just gonna switch to the dark side or there's been a lot of points, so I'm gonna switch to the light side. I mean, trying to follow the table is tough, So, but, but I would say each session, I mean, um, try a try a strategy for a session um, and stick to it or decide to flip-flop and but do one or the other is what I'm trying to say don't don't just you know know going into it okay am I gonna flip-flop or am I gonna stick to a strategy um, I would say that would be a lesson learned because I was trying to follow the table and every time I went on the light side, it went dark. And every time I went on the dark side, it went light. It was crazy. Number seven is a uh, big lesson learned for me. Don't chase your losses. I mean, I got to a place where I was putting all my entire bankroll at risk, uh, you know, allocated bankroll at risk each and every night but I was playing more aggressively. Like once I knew I had the cruise, you know, like, okay, I won the cruise. Then I was trying to win my money back. And so I was chasing my losses. And yeah, I was still gaining points, but, uh, but I mean, I think I got the cruise like on day three or very close to it, like on day three, session three um, or session four, you know, cause of day two, there was two sessions, but, but I mean, man don't chase your losses so this is 
I called it the walk of shame. This is the, I'm sitting in a chair. This is, this is my therapy right now. I, I chased, I chased my losses trying to make up my bankroll um, because I didn't want to lose it all. And I lost it all because I got too aggressive. And I mean, I've seen a lot of people do it too. And I, I always say, man, I see a lot of people do it. And I did it. And so this is like, like I said, this is the worst cruise ever. <laughs> Not really, but, but, uh, as far as financially experience, financial experience, uh, this is the worst cruise ever, man. Just with the whole card thing too. Oh my goodness. I guess I give you a bonus one. Here's a bonus lesson learned for people that didn't do it tonight. And that is the people that earned all of those points and didn't use their free play on the last day of the cruise because it's use it or lose it. And what it is is you get for every 250 points you earn while you're on the cruise, you get $5 worth of free play. And so I think a lot of people not only did they not check their points and track their points to see where they're out where they were for a free cruise but i also think that they didn't use their free play and i think that's a big lesson learned so anyway that's a bonus one call it number call it call it number eight okay fine we went to eight <laughs> check out this when you get a free cruise what do you do I'll show you. Here we go. All right, so we got our certificate, our instant cruise reward certificate. You can always come to sign up at the next cruise area. So find the next cruise area there. But if, uh, if the times are taken, which a lot of times they fill up pretty quick, you can always fill out one of these papers here. So one of these papers are uh, the book later form, and you just fill out the back here. Once you fill out the back, then you just put it right inside here and then that way you could get that booking bonus so very important let's go over sit down and fill this out so here's the instant reward certificate and here's the book later form i'm gonna fill this out completely but i wanted to show you at least what i put on the form just so you know your current stateroom your name i usually just book it for one person and then i let them know that i received an instant reward certificate i put the code on there now, I'm not gonna have to put the $200 deposit because all I have to do is pay taxes and port fees. And then I select the date because this booking will have to be completed within seven days. And so I can call this number down here below. They will match this up. So I think that's important that you have that code so that you can match up these bookings. What this will do is this will send you an email. By putting this in, you'll get an email with a reservation code and that reservation code is the code that you want to give them when you call and the offer code so two codes that you'll get you'll get your reservation code because of this paper and you'll get an offer code because of this paper put those together and you got a free cruise within seven days plus some onboard credit not to mention that you're gonna get the uh, onboard, receive onboard free play, at least for me doing the booking bonus. So I should have between $125 to $150 just by doing this. The, the more money, you get more money on an onboard credit based on whether it's an interior, an ocean view, or a balcony. And if you do a balcony, you would get more money uh, on your onboard credit. So. I hope that all makes sense. Here's what Amber's looks like. It is $300 off, or if she does the booking bonus, she'll get a complimentary Ocean View stateroom. So that's why it's very important to fill this out because if she doesn't fill this out and turn it in, within seven days, even if she leaves, if you leave the, if you leave the ship without doing a booking later form or without booking, you're only gonna get $300 off. You're not gonna get a complimentary cruise for two people. So this is very important if you don't get to this level. This is a $1,200, or sorry, the 1,200 point level. And I was able to get to the 1,500 point level. Now, one thing that's very unique is we can actually combine our two offers. If she had 1,200 and I had, uh, say, say we both had 1,500, we can actually get the 3,000 uh, the 3,000 point uh, offer or the 2,000 point offer and so that's very important you can also combine your offers 
uh, but you'd only get one stateroom for two, but you'd have many dates to choose from and you get more in free play. Only one person would get the free play, but uh, I hope that makes sense. But we're gonna go with two offers, fill in two of these instead of combining them together. So that way we can have two different sellings. All right, let's fill hers out. The final lesson learned before we go is uh, whenever you're getting off the ship, make sure your account is all taken care of because a lot of times what happens is people wait in this long line and they're trying to get off uh, the ship and then they're told that they have to go to guest services to uh, kind of close their account and all that stuff. So just wanted to give you that tip and pointer just to make sure that everything is taken care of uh, before you try to get off um, because there's nothing worse than because uh, I'm I heard a lot of people they, they got all the way up there and then they were told sorry you have to go to guest services they were waiting in line for like an hour just to get off and then have to uh, go leave the line and then go back to guest services to like finalize their payments and stuff like that so yeah not only have alternate forms of payment but a lot of times when you're out at sea or if you're in the other country, the cards don't go through. So a lot of people, it was just rerunning their card, but they had they had to make sure. So I would always make sure like the night before, uh, come to guest services and just say, hey, I wanna make sure my account is like uh, closed and everything's zero balance. You can also check on the app to see if you have a zero balance and then get in line. Don't wait in line without knowing if you have a zero balance or not. That's, a, that's the final tip of the uh of the of the show today so see ya thanks for watching and watch this video if you want to know more if you seriously want to know more on how to play craps on a cruise to win a free cruise watch this video and we'll see you cruising and rolling on a craps table soon see ya